Hi, let's talk about the paid media influence industry because I just got an email, not the first of this type that I've uh, received, but this one's rather interesting. Let's go through the details because it pops up in my inbox here. Forbes Australia media, re media inquiry for David Jones. And I thought, oh, bloody legacy media. What do Forbes Australia want me for? They want me to comment on something, you know, there's some thing and they've found my videos or whatever and they think I'm some industry expert. So they want some comment from me. That has happened several times before. And also I've been asked to be like an expert witness in uh, various cases and stuff like that. And they want to, you know, hire me on retainer to, uh, you know, testify in court, you know, on some technical aspect or something like that. And yeah, nah, no thanks. Same thing for the legacy media industry. It's like, no thanks. Yeah, nah. Um, because they've always got a spin on it. There's nothing in it for me, really. Like, what's the point? And then I actually read the email and I thought, oh, is this some sort of scam thing? And then I go, oh, no, it's uh, not actually. It reads like it's sort of like it's bot generated or something or, you know, and it comes from a Gmail address. But they actually CC'd in someone from a proper PR firm, a proper legitimate public relations firm. And we'll check it out. Anyway, this is the first email. Hey, Dave, our research team shared your details with me. I'm a media researcher with a pay on results PR firm. I find your YouTube channel EV blog newsworthy. Well, thank you very much. As an electronics design company, <laughs> you're a well, yeah, it is a company. I'm the sole director. Um, you're in an industry that's growing rapidly, you think? Based on your website content, I notice that you're interested in the latest trends in electronic design. Really? Wow, such great insight. Can I share a media request with you that's closely related to your industry? Also, I have other media requests that could be an even better fit for you. What do you think? best. And I've taken out uh, people's contact details. So obviously what they've got, this PR firm has got contractors <laughs> from wherever um, to just scour the internet to try and find clients. And no, this is not Forbes Australia actually wanting to talk to me and have, com you know, comment on some article. They're actually fishing for people like me who want to pay for media influence. They don't want my comment. They want me to pay for influence in Forbes Australia. So let's go into the details because it's quite fascinating. So I actually replied with a lol, you know, yeah, nah. <laughs> Why do I want to be featured in legacy media? No thanks. <laughs> but I replied to all, so CC'd in the actual PR firm that this uh, contractor or whatever works for and oh they've got a sniff oh they've got a live one here <laughs> alarm bells start ringing at the pr headquarters we've got a live one oh we've got a potential new client so here's the email response that i got from the actual pr firm here hi dave new client director at pathos communications pleasure to make your acquaintance well then you're in luck since we i'm in luck didn't you know? Since we, it's my lucky day, since we actually work with digital publications, because I mentioned legacy media, like lol, legacy media, no thanks, right? <laughs> and they go, oh, but we work with digital publications, didn't you know? Newfangled digital ones. Your take regarding old media is dead is certainly interesting. I'd love to set up an exploratory call. They always want to have an exploratory call. Um, at your earliest convenience, we're eager to better understand your needs and discuss how we can help achieve your goals. If you're open to it, let me know what time works for you and I'll coordinate the rest or feel free to use our calendar link here. They always, a lot of these companies, like they're in the first email, often they'll have a link, you know, I will get contacted from the CEO of some new marketing company or something and oh, I want to talk to you. I'll set up a time. Here's the calendar link and everything else. And yeah, I'll, I'll make time for you because you're so important. I'll drop on some brief information about us below, but I really recommend speaking with our team. They'll be able to discuss the process in better detail. We work on a pay on results model, meaning we'll only send you an invoice once we successfully get you published. And we only work with the biggest national and global publications such as Forbes, CNN, Bloomberg and NASDAQ. You can watch the testimonials from our clients who have helped, helped achieve great media exposure here. And we can uh, we work to increase your brand credibility, generate leads, attract investors, 
investors and partners, B2B, B2C, which is business to business and business to customer. Um, hoping to hear from you soon for the new clients director at Pathos Communications. So this is one of these PR companies, not the only one, there's probably hundreds of them, that specialize in if you're an entrepreneur or you know, you've know you got a startup or something like that and you want media exposure or you want to you know you're uh, you've written a new book or something and you want to get uh, you know featured on some news program which then you can put on your website you can actually pay for this you can pay to appear on all these programs where have we seen this before our good friends wiggle I've done several videos on Wiggles, but you'll remember that uh, Wiggle got featured on the Worldwide Business with Kathy Island. Uh, I don't know, right? It's <laughs> right, it's supposedly some big thing, and they plaster it all, all over their website and their social media. Look, we got featured on here. We were so we're so important, such an important new technology, this new wireless charging technology that we got featured. They invited Kathy Island, personally interviewed us on Worldwide Business with Kathy Island. Look at this wankery here. And yeah, they did a whole like blurb, and then it appears on the company's website, it appears on Forbes, it appears on CNN, it appears on wherever, right? And yeah, and then you can then use that to plaster all over your website. Well, yeah, Kathy Island and Worldwide Business did not invite them to be on. <laughs> Wiggle actually paid. You pay a PR firm, or you can often go to these companies directly, um, and you can pay to be interviewed like this. And then you can use that as marketing material for whatever it is you're selling. So let's check out this PR company, but they're all the same. <laughs> they do the same job. Pay on results PR in the world's biggest publications. So you can pay, pay to be on time. Forbes, Independent, Market Watch, CNN, Business Insider, ABC News, NASDAQ, Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, Yahoo Finance, International Business Times, Associated Press, The Hill, Bloomberg, right? You can find, right, Newsweek. You can pay to be on all of these. And these are the companies that, you know, they've got uh, any names we know, uh, Sequoia. Capital, U.S. Department of Energy, right? Are paying your tax dollars if you're in the U.S. Uh, on file. Come on, there's got to be someone. Signal Wire, who's that? I don't know. Biotricity. Oh, we might have to check out Biotricity. Make Maccas, Maccas, as we call it here in Australia. None of that McDonald's rubbish. Pathos have addressed the heart of our deepest need. <laughs> and they've got all these testimonials, right? And here's all the right. They've just got see all. 75 plus video testimonials. So we can actually go over here and look at all these testimonial videos, right? And I haven't looked, right? I haven't even run them. Don't, it's just wankery. And if you do business with them, they'll ask you. They might even pay you, might even give you a discount or something if you do a testimonial for them. We'll give you a free, <laughs> I don't know how it works. But anyway, um, yeah, like I just took this first one here. So let's go to this guy's website. So you can guarantee that this guy's going to have whatever he's selling, he's going to have it plastered over his website. So Jonathan Baylor here, look, nothing against him, right? He's an entrepreneur, he's doing his thing, good on him. Right, you know, I'm sure he's proven science, practical habits, permanent wellness, you know, blueprints, recipes, right? I'm sure he's pushing a good product. You know, don't don't blame him for that. Look at his nice family, good on him, right? Fantastic. And oh, he's been he's been on he's had a TED talk. Hmm, I wonder if you can pay to actually get a TED talk and be at their hippie wellness retreat for a week. I have to link in a video like Telling you what TED Talks are really about. It's about a entrepreneurial network hippie retreat thing. Anyway, um, yeah, it's not good. Anyway, if we go down here, let's keep scrolling down. Look, he's been featured on Ellen, right? You can like <laughs> Ellen doesn't invite you on unless you pay. Media Press, right? Look. Oh, he's been featured on all these programs. Wow, is he so important that they got invited on these uh, for free? No, you pay for influence. But that's that's what you do as an entrepreneur to get ahead and you make yourself sound important and everything else. Right? Look at all these have been showcased in all these. Th He's got the full PR package and it's just got featured in all these things. This is not organic, uh, you know, appeal. Um, that you know you're such uh, got a, such an amazing thing that you know these companies, these news agencies and outlets, they they don't approach you. You approach them through a PR firm. The smaller these companies get, you can probably approach them directly. But you know your big Fox Newses and your USA Todays and your you know NBCs and Yahoos and all that sort of stuff. You'd have to go through a PR firm. Otherwise, you're just not gonna uh, get on there.
And we've got some word salad. We are a creative engagement communications and brand reputation agency with our full suite of services. We work to manage risk, increase your audience engagement and improve return on investment. No matter what market your business is in, you can expect cut through solutions to enhance and protect your reputation. So, crisis management, you got bad reputation? <laughs> Pay a PR firm and they'll get you on one of these uh, news outlets to you know spin a good yarn. How are we different? Full transparency. Don't pay if you don't get published. A beauty. <laughs> hey, Trish. Traditional PR company would charge you if you don't get published. Uh, trusted support, no cost. Published on top tier outlets. We can get you published in one week. They have a content pyramid. Here's how it works. You can make your way to the very top. <laughs> as the as the previous guy we saw. If you're at level one here, you know, you're just starting out <laughs> with your PR progression ladder. Um, you can get your business featured and, you know, industry trends or something, you know, some article or something like that. Your company's trending or whatever. So, yeah, you can pay to trend. A profile feature focused on your offerings and what makes you unique. So that level two might have been that wiggle uh, one that we saw here, something uh, like that, I'd imagine. Oh, no, it actually could be level three, a thought leadership feature focused on your journey and vision. So, yeah, that that, that sounds pretty visionary. So they're, they're up at level three, old wiggle there. Um, and Or you can get an opinion piece authored by you, your team, going in-depth on your thought leadership. So you can, <laughs> you can write your own fluff piece or have, uh, you know, say even the PR firm might even write your fluff, help write your fluff piece piece and then you know you can get that published in any one of these major publications how important are you going to sound if you can get published in there but then you can go to level five wow network tv interviews with your team so i don't know you might get uh, i don't know whatever in your country is your latest ne you know network television or whatever you can get featured on fox news or us or nbc or something like that or you can get off you're right at the top of the pyramid you pay the top filthy dollar, then uh, you can get extended news documentary items with you and your team. So you can get a, you know, a documentary on ABC News or something. Um, if you pay enough dollars, they'll do it for you. And of course, that's how these legacy media companies still going, because no one cares about them. No one watches them. No one listens to them anymore. That's why they're called legacy media. They're dead in the water. If they couldn't get income generated from people who pay to be on these things. So if you know how much uh, people are paying for this, um, <laughs> leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, this is how they still survive. And and, and through uh, advertising that, you know, think that these legacy media companies are still important. But <laughs> yeah, nah. So there you go. If you're a new author, if you're an entrepreneur, you've got a startup business or something like that, this is how you buy influence um and you can plaster it all over your website and you've no doubt seen this countless times and almost none of this is organic almost every story you see is not organic um and unless you go like uh, you organically go viral or something on social media and then maybe yeah you might get uh, approached by one of the legacy media uh companies and they might do a, a piece on you for for nicks, right? You don't have to go through a PR agency, but otherwise, no. Nah. Just assume everything you see is a paid PR piece in any of these news organizations that you watch, any of the legacy media, it's all bought and paid for. And it's interesting. New York Times bestseller. I, like, did he organically get there? Or is this another PR thing? How to get on the New York Times bestseller list. <laughs> Understand that what the New York Times bestseller list is looking for. Obtain fast and diverse sales. Establish a large author platform. Have a pre-order list before your launch. Get uh, paid for speaking in bulk book purchases. So I don't think you can pay to be directly on there, but you can sort of like wiggle your way onto there. Here's how to buy your way into the New York Times bestseller list. For clients willing to pay enough, it will ever even guarantee a number one spot. Wow. According to the Wall Street Journal, yes, it looks like you can. Actually, it does this by taking bulk sales and breaking them into organic looking individual purchases, defeating safeguards that are supposed to make it possible to buy bestseller status. So yeah, you can't directly do it, but there's roundabout ways to make it happen. Uh, and it's not cheap. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, you've basically got to buy copies of your own book and, and do certain things and you can get on there. But there you have it, paid influence. So just assume everything you see, every company you see featured, every entrepreneur, every book 
it's all bought and paid for. <laughs> Just assume that unless, uh, you know, they went viral or something. That's how it works through uh, PR firms like this. And you can, you've got enough money, you can... <laughs> You can pay for anything and you can be featured on just so many different, you know, legacy media places. Um, and they still have influence, do they? <laughs> I don't know. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. But, you know, to me, in, in this sort of industry that I am, like, legacy media is just dead. New media is made up of individual creators uh, like myself who just build up a generic organic audience over like a decade. I've been doing it for 13, is it 14 years now? I think it might be, four, yeah, 14 years now. <laughs> Jeez, you get less for murder. Anyway, you build up an organic base, you do it on YouTube and you're on all the other platforms. I'm now releasing my videos on Twitter. I'm on, I've got 70,000 plus subscribers on Odyssey. I'm, I'm going yeah, pretty decently after all this time to slowly build up and uh, build up your name in the business. You don't need these PR companies. But well, if you're an entrepreneur looking to get up that ladder real super quick, then you can uh, pay to climb the pyramid real quick. Results in less than a week. Guaranteed or you don't pay. <laughs> Thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.